is something that we commonly enjoy uh, for an evening tea or for a nice evening snack. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting bonda which is chicken bonda. So let's get started and check out the recipe. Take a pressure cooker, add a little water. Have about 200 grams of chicken with bone. To this I'm going to add one large potato. Season it with salt, I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. Half teaspoon chilli powder. And one teaspoon ginger garlic paste. Mix everything. Pressure cook for about 4 to 5 whistles on medium flame. The potato and chicken are cooked beautifully. Cool the chicken pieces, shred them, remove the bone. So the chicken is practically falling off the bone, so it's cooked beautifully. It's nice and soft. I've shredded the chicken completely. Now I'm going to saute. Take a kadai, add 2 teaspoons of oil. To this add 1 large onion finely chopped, 2 green chilies chopped, 1st add a few curry leaves. Once the onions are transparent, add the cooked and shredded chicken pieces along with the potatoes. Next, to this add 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon cumin powder, half teaspoon garam masala. Mix everything together. Pour the cooked chicken stock into the kadai. I generally don't like to waste the chicken stock because all the flavors are infused into the chicken stock. So try to use it as much as you can. Finally, add some chopped coriander leaves. Make sure to cook the filling till the excess moisture is evaporated. You don't want the filling to be too soggy. For the bonda batter, take 1.5 cups of basin or gram flour, 1 tablespoon rice flour. To this, add half teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon chilli powder. Add water gradually to get a nice thick batter. Take a little bit of the mixture, roll it into desired size balls. Dip the prepared chicken balls into the batter. Heat a kadai, pour enough oil for deep frying. Gently drop the bondas into the hot oil. Deep fry them till they get a nice golden brown colour. Remove the bondas from the oil once they reach a nice golden brown colour. Serve them hot with some nice coconut chutney or spicy chutney by the side. So there you go, here is a nice snack that you can enjoy with some nice spicy green chutney. This makes for a great evening snack or a nice party uh, finger food. So do try and enjoy this delicious chicken bonda. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on